Hello, beautiful. Welcome to your reading. Your future self plus next glow up. This energy is about your career, your relationships, and your finances. And I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. And take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. That is how you can help to support the channel. Meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. And this would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful number one. Welcome to your reading. Your future self plus your next glow up. The energy channel here will be about your career, your relationships, as well as your finances. And I will share with you all of the energy that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. Let's get straight into the reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to your card, the Nine of Pentacles. And with the Nine of Pentacles being your energetic choice, let me just point out first off that this is physical energy. And the Pentacle energy also represents the Earth Representing the Earth, Zodiac signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And seen in the top placements of your birth chart, Sun, Moon, or Rising signs, 7th house of relationships, or even the planet Venus. Or in the birth chart of someone that is significant in your career. Helping you to manifest your dreams and your goals. The Nine of Pentacles is a high vibrational card representing your wishes coming true. And also here with this Nine of Pentacles energy, this is about material abundance for you and good health. So I love this for you. Let's get more specifics. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening here? Well, your future self, your next glow up. Ooh, the energy is very strong, powerful here. I'm just going to take these cards and we are going to shuffle again. Let's see what comes through. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening here with this energy, Spirit? Tree of Life. I love the Tree of Life coming out, especially because you were naturally drawn here to the Pentacles energy with this Earth energy. The Tree of Life is Earth. So there's a nice confirmation coming out just back to back here in your reading. This is about true wisdom and making good choices in life. So I can see here with your future self, you are making good choices. Yes, and reason being is because you have already had a challenging journey and you're just really downloaded here with lots of intuition, ways to move forward in your career, choices about, you know, choices in making relationships, making good choices with allowing certain people to be in your life. So this is about wisdom being downloaded here into you from spirit. Growth. Abundance as well. The tree of life offers you abundance and prosperity. Thank you, spirit. I love this for you. And let's get more insight. So what's happening here with your future self and your next glow up, the career, your love, your finances, spirit, archangel, Zakiel, mercy, and the violet flame, transmutation. Yes, I love this. Mm. This is inner energy that... It represents this change, this transformation that is taking place here on your spiritual path, on your journey. You are changing. You can feel the shift. You can feel that change within you. It's something very powerful where you are tapping into this greater version of yourself. You are having mercy on people that did you wrong um, as far as manipulation, betrayal, past relationships. You have mercy on this energy now. And so this is what is allowing you to align with that high vibration uh, frequency of love. And love is the greatest attraction here. Spirit is encouraging you to love this person. Send this person unconditional love, white sparkly light, and forgiveness. This does not mean that you should connect with this energy if this energy is still toxic. It only means that when you think about this person, have mercy for them and send them forgiveness so that you can always radiate on this high vibrational frequency of allowance. And love is what creates and holds the universe together. And so let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. 
and so what's happening here for you <laughs> your future self your next glow up your career relationships finances look here the mother of wands i love the mother of wands showing up this is about fire it's passion it's enthusiasm energy here this is about creativity so this is an alignment with the nine of pentacles here and the mother of wands represent that wand energy represents creativity fertility abundance so just starting out here with so much growth with the tree of life the wisdom you are downloaded with for making good choices, the nine of pentacles, your wishes coming to abundant, fulfilled life, fruitful in nature, the mother of wands, which gives birth to fertility, growth, and abundance. That wand energy does rule over the fire zodiac signs, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries in the top placements of your birth chart or the birth chart of someone that is significant here on your path of growth or will share the fruits of labor with you. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening here? Spirit, what is the energy you'd like to give today? What energy would you like to provide today, Spirit? Thank you. I feel like there's a card stuck together, but maybe not. Yes, it is. And this is the one here that is really calling. This is Juno, marriage, commitment, and bonds. And Spirit just gave us that message about you sharing the fruits of your <laughs> manifestations with someone in a beautiful way, a marriage, a commitment, a bond. So this is definitely a part of your future self, your journey, your path, that lover's relationship, that deep partnership where two people share the energy as one. Loyalty, commitment, love, and understanding here is for you. Juno. Juno is an asteroid in an astrological birth chart. It is very powerful for connection. Ooh, I love your reading. So many blessings here. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. And so what's happening here with you, your future self? What energies would you like to share, Spirit? Relationships. Love, finances. What's happening, Spirit? Ooh, gambler. So this is about how you are you have the willingness to follow your intuition, even when others doubt you. Follow your intuition. Be uniquely you. This is a clear message here that you are on the right path because there's something different about you, something that you have to, to express, something that some people around you would kind of like judge you for. But you know it's right because it brings you joy, it brings you bliss. You know that it can help others. Spirit wants you to stay there on that path because you know that it's good as well. Because, you know, it brings a sense of inner peace within you. Even when others doubt you, there will be the doubters, naysayers, or haters that are always going to be there. And you're encouraged to ignore that low vibrational energy and stay focused with the high vibration of self-confidence, self-love, self-assurance, self-respect, and unconditional love for yourself and for the people that doubt you. See, it's really about love. It's about loving everything, loving yourself, the earth, the plant, the trees, the water, your creations, who you are, what, whether you feel like you're perfect or imperfect, love yourself fully because you are perfect in the eyes of source and you're to see everything from the eyes of source, the eyes of love, perfectly and divinely made, very beautiful you are. Thank you, spirit. Let's get more insight. And so what's happening here? What messages for you? As it does relate to your future self and your next glow up. <laughs> the merchant. And with the mer merchant, this is about your finances. Okay, the merchant, Mercury, the planet Mercury. The planet Mercury does rule over the beautiful sign of Gemini. And um also, the planet Mercury moves over, rules over Virgo. This is about your communication and your intelligence. Look how spirit allowed the merchant card to lay naturally here under the tree of life about wisdom and you making good choices. The universe is conspiring in your favor. You are being communicated to by your spirit guides. Spirit is encouraging you here to always ask for assistance, for guidance, because as you know, you are 
you have the ability to do exactly what you want. And your spirit guides will not interfere. You, you have freedom, the free will. But if you would like assistance, they are there to help you. So spirit wants you to communicate more with your spirit guides, your angels, even with source, with the universe. Thank you, spirit. Because opportunities to prosper for you are everywhere. They're in everything. So here, this is really about how you are gaining these spiritual gifts, such as logic, discernment, and flexibility in your finances are here as well. So I love this confirmation with the merchant and the nine of pentacles. Your wishes coming true, abundant lifestyle, gear, material, abundance as well, and the merchant card. I love how all of your cards here are in alignment uh, and confirming each other. Thank you, spirit. I can definitely say it is extremely accurate energy communication, social. So with social here, this could be something about social media, you sharing your business, your gifts or your talents with the internet. If you were thinking about starting that website and putting yourself out there in the forefront so other people could see you, do it. The time is now. Thank you, spirit. Yes. Don't worry about the technicalities, the who, what, when, where, and how. Just express yourself fully. And the universe here has everything for you. It's already here in spiritual existence. And this realm of non-physical, which is the most powerful realm. And as you do operate in the alignment of the greater and higher version of yourself, these things are manifesting for you physically. It's a beautiful number one. This does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. And yes, they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number two. Welcome to your reading. Your future self and next glow up. And the energy coming through is about your career, relationships, and your finances. And I will share with you all of the energy that spirit gives and not leave anything out. And take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. And that is how you can help to support. Let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn here to your card, the Four of Swords. And with the Four of Swords energy, this is about your intellect. The sword energy also represents air zodiac signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in the top placements of your birth chart or the birth chart of someone that is significant here on your journey and your future self glow up. I do want to point out that that sword energy is in reference to your sun, moon, or rising signs, seventh house of relationships, or even the planet Venus. And with the four of swords, it's clear to me here that this is about retreat for you. This is about rest for you, going into solitude and recovery to regain your strength. So T, I can definitely see here you're getting stronger and wiser, and you are putting up your boundaries. You are persistent, but now your boundaries are healthy. You are ignoring the haters, the naysayers, and the doubters and not allowing yourself to be triggered, you know, with their maneuvers, their passive aggressive energy. You have recognized that that is not helpful for you. But also see here on your journey is that as you are taking time out to take care of your mind, body, and spirit, you are looking a lot younger. Yes, you are looking a lot younger. You are taking care of yourself, taking care of your body. And so people are telling you, wow, what are you doing? You look so good. And you're like, hey, I'm just minding my business and drinking my water. And really, that's what you're doing right now. Focusing on the nutrition that you're taking in. And Spirit wants to encourage you that that is absolutely perfect because your body is a temple. It is connected with your spirit. And so let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening here with your future self and your next glow up? You have here spirit. I love this. This is about heavenly assistance from your angels and spirit guides. So it's a clear message here that you are guided, loved, and protected here. And that the universe is conspiring in your favor. Things are working out for you perfectly. 
Never doubt that because it's not happening for you in your physical, you, you don't see it in your physical existence. Trust it is happening. There is a powerful being behind the scenes that is in charge of your fulfilling life and your destiny. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. What's happening here? With your future self and your next glow up. What's happening here? Thank you, spirit. And you have here, Lord Ganesha. This is removal of obstacles, a clear path ahead of you. Look at this wonderful confirmation showing up with the energy of knowing, all knowing that all is well. Spirit is letting you know here that there is a clear path ahead of you. Yes, there were previous challenges where you were dealing with, you know, certain things such as your relationship, your career, it was up and, and down, but there's nothing but brightness here for you, a clear path ahead, a, a path of ease. So Spirit really wants you to understand that to align with that easy life, it is a vibrational alignment that that you must adhere to, and that vibrational alignment is relax. That's the main message here is to relax as you create, relax as you go about your day to day, relax. And I can definitely see that a part of your anxiety and your frustration comes from like your past experiences and living in the past. Yes, those things did take place. But you're encouraged to let those things go. It's time now for you to heal and to reap the rewards of your existence here. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what's happening, Spirit? What's happening with your future self? With your future self. Thank you, Spirit. I love this for you. You look a lot younger. Removal of obstacles. If you thought things were tough, it's just going to be this clear, bright, beautiful path with all of your dreams coming true. Your career, relationships, platonic and romantic connections are here. Let's get more. You have your father. Oh, I love the father energy. Yeah, something took place in your past regarding like your father. But let me tell you this, the energetic energy here is about your talent for creating and supporting your life, a positive guiding light within a tribal unit. You're going to be the one to put your family on the map, to get your family out of like this financial rut and open up this floodgate of opportunities and financial freedom, traveling together with, with the people that you love closely because you are steadfast. You are not going to let go. So yes, the key here is to relax as you create. Know it is done. Know that all is well. Let's get more. I love this for you. What's happening here? What is going on? Thank you, Spirit, for that energetic, beautiful message of abundance. Let's see, and you have here retrograde reversal declaration and distance. This is about the removal of those obstacles, that clear path of head, reversal of that negative energy and declaring that it is done, declaring to with the creator of the universe, agreeing with source energy that prosperity and abundance is yours in every way of your life. It's also here about distance, like distancing yourself from toxic energy and things that are no longer serving you, relationships, thought patterns that are no longer serving you. Distance yourself from that energy and allow that great energy and the power of manifestation to work through you and really align with what you really desire. You know what it is. You know you want that luxury lifestyle where you're traveling. You know you want that beautiful, loving, and understanding, committed relationship where you two people are creative and are in sync with each other. You know what you want. So just visualize that and relax in the knowing that, hey, it is done. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what's happening here for you? 
I love your energy. Oh my goodness. I do want to point out something coming through, like with the moon here. I want to point out that the moon rules over the mother and it rules over the zodiac sign of cancer. So cancer, this is really a good indication that yes, your intuitive gifts are very powerful, which is why you will not have the same problems moving forward with relationships or your finances because you have been blessed with the download of intuition. The merchant. Look at the merchant showing up with Mercury. The merchant is about your finances. It's about, you know, your logic. It's about discerning here. I do want to point out that the merchant, Mercury, the planet Mercury, rules over communication. It rules over also the zodiac sign of Gemini and um, Virgo. And so Virgo is probably in your 10th house, your house of career. Okay. And it could be in the sun, moon or rising as well. Seventh house of relationships or even the planet Venus as well. But with Mercury and Gemini showing up here and Virgo, Mercury laying right under the swords energy. Gemini is that air energy, social energy. So you'll be very powerful and huge on social media. If you got a download of a creative idea where you know it will give people value and help other people, you must move forward with it because it is already successful. It is done. And the universe is just waiting on you to catch up with that knowing and start taking action. I love this for you. Flexible financial um, energy showing up for you as well. Psychological improvement for you, creativity, communicative energy with the source, your spirit guides, your angels guides. You are created by brilliance. Therefore, you are brilliant and you are recognizing and aligning with that higher brilliant energy of yourself. Technical inventions as well. I love this for you. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. And so, what's happening here? What's happening here? What energy would you like to share with us, Spirit? Thank you. I love your reading. Woo! The Ten of Wands. <laughs> and with the Ten of Wands energy, this is more creativity energy as well as fire. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. In the top placements of the birth chart that I did mention earlier. And with the Ten of Wands energy, you know. This is a clear message because the Ten of Wands energy represents stress, exhaustion, and burdens. And you see that message came through earlier with how you have been living, how you have been processing things. This is a confirmation to this is what you are letting go of. This is what you are distancing yourself from. And staying in the knowing that all is good. The universe is conspiring in your favor and it is done leaving you with that relaxed ease feeling of unconditional love, unconditional wellness, knowing that you are provided for. You are extremely <laughs> prosperous and abundant in every way of, of your life. So I love that your reading here is extremely accurate and all cards do align with each other. Beautiful. Number two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. And I definitely warm my heart and I make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number three. Welcome to your reading. Your future self plus your next glow up. And we will channel the energies of your career, your relationships, and your finances. And I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. And that is how you can help to support. Let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn here to your card, the eight of pentacles. And with the pentacle energy, you're looking at earth. Physical energy representing the earth, zodiac signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo are seen in the top placements of your birth chart. The sun, moon, or rising sign, seventh house of relationships, or even the planet Venus. 
in your birth chart or someone's birth chart that is significantly here present with this eight of pentacles energy i can definitely see for your future self it is a luxurious lifestyle where you are self-sufficient lots of financial gain and solo pleasures such as travel and creativity i love this for you let's get more insight on what's happening here on your next glow up Once you have your breaking bad habits, self-acceptance and excellent mental health here is on your journey. And yes, you have been really doing a good job at working on changing your habits and creating good habits now and really accepting yourself for who you truly are, loving yourself, loving the fact that you are different, you stand out, and that's perfectly fine. That's what makes you truly unique here. It's because you are different. You're extremely beautiful in a physical way as well as a spiritual way. Very warm-hearted, kind, and generous you are. So that's why I can see that the universe is conspiring for your good to bring those things to you as well because you are aligned with that energy. You see, the universe is a magnet and you attract what you are, not what you want. You have here addict. Look at the addict energy showing up immediately after spirit gave that insight about you breaking bad habits. Oh my goodness. I love this for you. See, you're on this wonderful journey where you are able to recognize and confront your addictive behavior and you are addressing it, which is allowing you to grow, to evolve. Keep going. You're doing a wonderful job. Your spirit guides are recognizing this with you and are helping you. And feel free to call on your spirit guides at any time because they love to assist you. But keep in mind, they will not interfere if you do not ask because you are here to live a free-willed life. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. And you have here the queen which is ruled by the moon. And with the moon energy, the moon is about your emotions. It's about your feelings. It's about that warm-hearted nature that you are. The moon does rule over the zodiac sign of cancer. So cancer is significant in the top placements of the birth chart. And either your birth chart or someone that you are going to connect very nicely with emotionally here with this moon energy. And this is really letting you know here that you are a empowered feminine leader, very regal, courageous, and prosperous. You're very loyal and powerful, compassionate. The gifts of intuition um, are being downloaded into you because you are trustworthy now when it comes to the universe. You are able to handle the wisdom that you are provided. And so that is why the moon energy is here for you. The moon also is, it represents the mother. So with the mother, this is about your fertility, your ability to grow, abundant energy. You are a good parent. Even if you don't have physical children or you may have pet children, if you were wondering if you are a good parent, yes, absolutely. This is within you naturally. And also the mother is significant here in your reading. Something to do with the mother is very strong. Send love and white sparkly light towards that mother energy. Thank you, spirit. Let's get more insight. I feel like your mother has done the best that she could do. And so that's why you send that energy of compassion, forgiveness, and unconditional love. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the Three of Cups. Look at the Three of Cups showing up. Water and emotional energy as well. I love the Three of Cups showing up here because this is about your connection with other people that are taking place here in your journey. Lots of friendships, quality friendships. When I say a lot, I mean abundant in quality um, celebrations and a true circle of support for you here on your journey.
Thank you, Spirit. The cup energy and rules over the water zodiac signs. Cancer, as seen here with the moon. Scorpio and Pisces. In the top placements of the birth chart that I did mention moments earlier. Let's get more insight. And tell what's happening here. What is happening? What energy? The waning Gibeous moon. Two moon cards. In between that, you have the moon energy of Cancer with the three of cups. Let me just say that I'm so grateful that your cards are in alignment with each other and confirmative. Yes, your reading is extremely accurate. This is about harvest, how you are going to harvest whatever you sow. And you are sowing right now gratitude and thankfulness. So your harvest, of course, will be beautiful as stated here with the Eight of Pentacles. And because you have been downloaded with intuition, knowing who, what, when, where, or how, who, who, and what is right for you, you know that instinctively, intuitively, so you go in the direction of what is right. Thank you, Spirit. I love this for you. Let's get more insight. And so what's happening here on your journey? Your next glow up. Your future self. Career finances. Mother Mary. Look at Mother Mary showing up with all the moon energy. The moon rules over the mother. And Mother Mary shows up as a confirmation. Thank you, Spirit. This is about purity of heart, conception, and faith. And Spirit did just give us that insight about fertility. And you are naturally a good parent. So if you were ever doubting yourself or wondering, doubt no more. You are. Revel in the knowing that you, your children are taken care of. Even if your children are spiritual children, your children are your gifts and your talents. Your children could be physical children. Your children could be some, your pets that you are taking care of. You are pure at heart. And conception here, faith is what you have been operating on. So with that belief that you have. And you pair that belief with your movement. Then that's why I see here such an abundant spread of energy via tarot and oracle for you here today. And I'm so happy for you. Oh my goodness. Three cards representing mother. You're guided, you're loved, and protected. There's growth, abundance, prosperity. I can definitely feel the imprint's energy in your vortex as well. Beautiful number three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments and they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.